Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I got a great show for you today. I hope everything's going your way. You're having a good week. I know today's Monday. Uh, wishing you a great week. You have a lot of success in everything that you do. Um, I got a great show. I'm going to talk about a few things. You know, today's title is going to be uh, what's stopping you from being the best version of you. And uh, I just want to talk a little bit about my story a little bit and uh, give you some ideas and tips on what you can do so you can become the best version of you. So I'm also going to give you a little weight loss update. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, got a little bonus material for you. Who knows who this guy is? Put it in the comments below. You should know him. I'll give you a hint. Saturday night, that's your hint. Comment below who it is. First off, if you've never been to my channel, I just want to welcome you. Uh, welcome to my man cave. I collect a few signs back here. It's just all for fun. Um, just kind of decorate it and uh, just kind of part of me, I guess you could say. Um, one thing I just wanted to mention, uh, hopefully you caught the live stream last night, the Carnivore Bowl. If you did not, make sure you take a look under my lives. Maybe I can put a link up here and... Uh, you can uh, check that out and watch that. Me and Brian from Wick Goes Carnivore talked about uh, some tailgating foods that are carnivore. And also, we do, we're going to do our NFL football picks and take questions and answers. You might want to check that one out if you missed it. Um, also, tonight, I have a live stream at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, with quite a few people from the weight loss community. So make sure you check that out. You know, you're getting double, two dates, two nights in a row of me live. And, you know, Sunday's my first live one. Um, so <laughs> it's kind of fun to get into it and meet more people and, and just uh, listen to other people's stories. It's pretty amazing. So first off, I'm going to give you a little weight loss update. I know Friday I put a video up because uh, I had a milestone weight loss. I'll put a link up here for that one in case you missed it. Um, and today I'm just here to tell you that... I'm down 82 pounds in less than uh, just a hair under seven months, just a couple days. 82 pounds down. Wow. I mean, I, I kind of pinched myself because uh, the time has went so fast. I started on January 21st, 22nd, right in there. And I was 389.5 pounds. I'm sorry, 389.2. And uh, today I weighed 307.2. So, um Gosh, 80, 82 pounds down. I just, I'm really humbled and blessed and, and feel amazing. So, and that's what I wanted to talk about is change um, a little bit. And, you know, real change starts with you. Um, you're the only one that can do it. Nobody's going to come save you. It's your responsibility. You have to take ownership and make changes in your life. You can't continue to blame other people as to why you're overweight you can't let past hurts hold you back. Um, you got to be able to let that stuff go. And, uh, you know, I suffered a lot over the years um, with weight. And it, it caused a lot of damage to me and my family. You know, I, I get kind of sad when I think about it. You know, do you know how many times I avoided pictures? Because I didn't want to be seen in the picture because I was way overweight. Um, you know, those are missed opportunities and missed photos that my kids won't have because of my being overweight and making stupid decisions and continually shoving food in my mouth that I shouldn't eat. And that's, that's my fault. I own it. You know, I was taught to clean my plate as a kid and, uh, maybe that's not the right advice or the right thing a person should do, but I'm not going to blame somebody else for making me clean my plate. I still chose to put the food in my mouth. Um, and it was the wrong food, a lot of sugar, a lot of flour products, um, and I, it's one of those things that I, I own it. That's my business and my thing. So, you know, I'm just taking a look at my notes here and to be honest, the buck stops here and it's you, um, you know, if you're watching this and you're debating on whether you should do some kind of diet plan, um, it starts with you. And the only way you can change that is, uh, you have to, it starts with you. You got to make the decision, hey, I'm going to do this and I'm not going to quit. I'm going to continue to work it till I find what works and I'm going to lose this weight and I'm not going to let anything hold me back anymore. And that's the way you got to look at it. Um, you know, I look at food now and the treats and all that and it's like, I really don't desire them. 
because I realize how much pain they have caused me through the years. Um, that sugary cupcake that looks totally yummy and amazing, it ain't worth it. No, it ain't worth it. It robs you of your dreams. It robs you of memories. Um, and you have to, you know, I'm really big on you need to associate pain with those goodies to, to break your addiction to them. Because uh, they cause you a lot of problems and hurt. And it's important to do that. Now, a couple things, um, you know, it's important to do is set some goals for the week. I uh, just, sorry, I just had to shift gears here. I don't want to be sad and be a bummer uh, show. I want it to be positive and good because that's the way I am. But, you know, I think it's important that you see the real me and see the pain and the suffering that it caused me. And uh, I'm going to shift gears here and talk about goal setting. Um, you know, what do you want to do this week? Do you have some goals? Do you have a plan? Today's Monday. What are you going to do this week? You know, uh, obviously there's work, there's life, there's lots of things going on. But what are you going to do in your downtime? Everybody has a little bit of downtime to do something. Um, and maybe it's to better yourself. Um, you know, and that's where you have to, to set a goal so you have a target to shoot at. And make changes, uh, make plans. Um, you know, I think part of that comes along with right thinking. Mentally, you have to have the right thinking. Um, and I talk about that in one of my videos. I'll put the link up before. Kind of my weight loss roadmap uh, video. I talked about right thinking. And you have to look at things a little bit different. And I talk a little bit about that too, is letting go of the past. And... Uh, you know, past hurts, events, traumas that were caused you, um, they no longer serve you. Um, you got to keep that in mind and, you know, you got to forgive yourself and others um, who you've hurt or they've hurt you. You got to forgive. Um, that's so you can move on. You aren't held back by those chains. There's nothing holding you down, nothing holding you back from being the best version of you. So keep that in mind. Um, the other thing, um, that could be holding you back is, are you making the decision to change? Uh, and I kind of talked about that a little bit. You need to make the decision and, and go for it. Um, you need to develop a plan. It's easy to just dive in with two feet, say, hey, I'm gonna lose weight. You need to have a plan. Um, you need to develop that plan. You know, what type of uh, weight loss plan are you on? Um, you know, a lot of times I talk about lifestyle and I feel that the, the type of diet plan I'm on is a, it's a lifestyle. It's not a diet. To me, diets are temporary. So, um, you know, what kind of lifestyle are you going to pick? And that's where I went with the keto lifestyle, low carb carnivore lifestyle, um, because it fit me better. I'm not one that I can go out and work out at the gym all the time. I used to, not anymore. I'm 51 years old and I have a lot of arthritis problems. Um, and hopefully some of my diet can correct some of that. So it's not so bad for me and I'm not in pain so much. So, um, uh, keep that in mind, you know, that's, uh, you know, don't hold yourself back, make the decision and make some plans. Um, you know, the big thing is getting started. Uh, we make excuses uh, on why we can't start today. Um, we procrastinate. Um, we want to blame others. Oh, I'm so busy. There's so much going on. And, uh, you know, we'll make every excuse in the book not to start. And if you find yourself doing that, then you better pay attention because you need to get started and you need to start today. You need to start making a plan and make the decision that you're going to change your life. You're going to take control of your life. You're going to get your life back. Um, you know, if you're watching this overweight and you've been overweight your whole life, it's time to change. I know you're hurting and struggling. I was too. But you can do this. There's no reason to let people hold you back anymore. You can't blame other people. It's time to own your life and make changes. You can do this. There's no doubt in my mind. If I can do this at 51 years old, lose 82 pounds just on diet alone, no surgeries, no exercise, um, no medication, you can do this. You can do this. And I'll be your biggest fan. So... You know, it can be done. I'm I'm proof, and I know a lot of other people are doing it, and you can do it too. So, you know, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and make the decision today that you're going to change your life, and you're not going to suffer anymore. It's time to make changes, friends. You can do this. I know you can. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So it's time to get after it and make some plans and get started. 
you can do it. So just remember, say no to making excuses. No more excuses. You've made enough excuses. I made enough excuses. Been there, done that, friends. I've been there. I understand. So, hey, that's all I got for you today, my friends. If you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Um, share it with your friends. Um, I would really like to help other people and reach other people and help them lose weight. I'm 82 pounds down and still going. I'm about halfway there. You know, I'll go as far as I can. I weighed 307.2 this morning. My original goal is 250. We'll see how far I get, but I will go lower than 250 if I'm able to, you know, if I'm a big guy, I'm six foot, um, always been, you know, I think in my prime in high school, I was like 230 pounds, um, but that was just for a short, short window. I was 80 pounds in kindergarten. I mean, I've always been a big guy, but I'm not going to make excuses. I'm going to keep plugging away and we'll see how far I can take it and go with go with that and that's what you need to do set that goal and the goal may change a little and that's okay keep plugging away keep plowing through you can do this thanks for watching my friends take care god bless have a great week bye